This short video gives you a small introduction about blocks and how you create your own block. The history of block is the following. If we look at back in 1997, it was created web log, which meant to record every web visited. Two years later, the term we block was broken into two parts, we and block. And it was in 2000 in which block became a noun and a verb. A block is something where I have information and we block is to write a, a block. It can be also defined like an online diary. Before it was on a, a book and now it's online. The technology of a small Molesky it was very easy because everybody could use You open and you write with your pencil, okay? But now, if we want to do it online, we need a tool. And if a lot of people are using blogs, we need an easy tool. So these easy tools that help us to manage the information online are called CMS, which is Content Management System. And can be defined as a software that makes our life easy. Same as we do with an email, which we open an account and then we send and receive emails. Something similar, no much more, more complicated happens with a blog. And once it's open, you can update it uh, or create information. And we have here two examples of content management system. One is WordPress and the other one is Blogger, which is a Google uh, tool. Each site online on the website has a web domain. For instance, Ozein University is www.ozein.edu.tr. This is a web domain, okay? So for a blog, you are going to use something similar. Those domains could end up in .com, .net, .org, uh, .edu, etc., etc. If you would like to have your own domain, one possibility could, could be to have your first name, last name, .com. And I will explain in the meeting how by going to a website you can check whether it's available or not. Or if you are working for a company, it could be the company name. And it does, it's not that expensive. It costs about 15 US dollars per year. Just the domain. It's like a, a license plate for a, a car. If you would like to check whether your wish the domain is available, for instance, in my case, I could check for www.martindomingo.com and I go to this website, who.es.com, and then I check whether this domain is available, okay? And uh, I recommend you, if your first name, last name, .com is available, I will recommend you to make this investment of booking it for 10, uh, 15 US dollars per year and have it, maybe not, I don't know, for now, but maybe for later. But to create your own blog, you don't need to reserve your own domain. This is something optional, something that you can do or you cannot do. So what are going to be the steps to create a blog? One possibility is to go to get ideas. So I get ideas from other blogs, which I like it, some blogs I read, uh, some blogs I find very attractive to me. Another important element is to use, to define the use of your blog. For instance, if you are creating the blog for this, for one class, then you, the aim is to, to put the assignments of one class. If you are traveling, maybe you want to write about your traveling. So define the use. You have to decide whether you are going to have your own domain or use just general domain free available. You have to use the platform. We saw both uh, WordPress and uh, Blogger. And just start your blog, as simple as that. And if you just want to create it using WordPress, just go to wordpress.com and create one for free. If you already have one, which you may have, then I recommend you to try to improve it a little bit. If you want to get some ideas, here I left you a, a website, and I'm sure you can find others online about tips 
of how to improve your actual blog. Thank you very much.